Well, hey, Palmetto family, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we know that this time of year, uh, our family is spread out. Uh, a lot of you are traveling this week. Some of you are right here close. A lot of you have friends and family coming over uh, for the big day on Thursday. But like we started a couple of years ago, we wanted to make sure that regardless of where our family is this week, that we are creating space to have gospel-centered, faith-formative conversations. Uh, and we wanted to do that this year in a little bit of a different way than we've done in years past. So the past couple of years, Sean and I have sat down and created more of a long-form discussion guide video. Uh, but this year, we wanted to do things a little bit differently. This video is actually just supposed to be a quick explanation and introduction into the conversation that we're hoping you're going to be able to have have as a family, maybe with a friend group or maybe your life group who's getting together over the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we believe that it's really important to give you lots of invitations, but to give you the opportunity to make a decision on what you're going to do based on how your schedule is going or what your travel plans are or whatever. So what you're going to find in this week's guide, you probably already have clicked on the link to check it out, is a list of conversation starters, scriptures to read, prayer suggestions, and practices to take part in as a family or as a group. These are even structured in a way where you could take part in them completely by yourself if that's something that would be beneficial for you over the next couple of days. But again, we make invitations, you get to make decisions. Uh, but we want to make this in such a way where you don't feel pressure. But instead, if you find yourself on the road or if you find yourself in a living room, this content will be beneficial in both of those places or anywhere in between, which is why this video is going to be intentionally shorter and is going to serve, hopefully, as a seed that will get planted that hopefully will grow and give you space to grow in your faith over the course of this Thanksgiving holiday. What I'd like to do is I'd like to begin just with one verse from a psalm that has kind of settled into my spirit leading up into this holiday season, and I'm hoping that it'll set the stage to cultivate gratitude in your heart and in your family's heart over the next several days and weeks as we lead up through this holiday season. So I'd like to read it for you from Psalm 107, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Now, I believe that this has been one of those years where there's been so much going on from new school years to people getting new jobs to an election season and everything in between to where our vision gets a little bit cloudy. Um, we get distracted by 100,000 different things on any given day. But what we find is that gratitude brings clarity to our lives. So in Psalm 107, it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. There is something about giving thanks to God and practicing gratitude and cultivating gratitude that gives us focus on what's most important, God's love for us, the love that he pours out for us on a regular basis. So as you enter into a time together, whether it's with a small group or a family, or maybe it's at the Thanksgiving dinner table, our prayer is that the cultivation of gratitude brings clarity and points you to your Father who loves you deeply and wants you to become more like his son Jesus through the power of his Holy Spirit. So from our family to yours, happy Thanksgiving. We hope that you enjoy the time together wherever you are, and we pray that gratitude brings clarity to your life and helps you become more like Jesus today. Grace and peace, my friends. We'll see you soon.